hello viewers welcome to my channel and today's topic is transfusion reactions and it's a very important topic you know before starting i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit our website which is www.diseaseandtreatment.com you know if uh, you have experienced a severe blood loss or uh, low blo blood vessels and uh, blood transfusion, in that case, it can be it can help to restore the blood you have lost, you know. And uh, it's a routine procedure that, uh, uh, like. Uh, adds donated blood to your own, you know, and the blood transfusions uh, can be life-saving and it's important that the blood is accurately matched uh, to your blood type. And uh, if the blood type uh, is not a match, you can experience a transfusion reaction, you know, and these reactions are rare, but they can be harmful to your kidneys and lungs. And in some cases, they can be life-threatening, you know. The next thing is, what is uh, this uh, blood transfusion process? Well, your doctor may recommend a blood transfusion if you are, you have lost blood or are not producing enough blood, you know. And it can be due to like uh, injury or burns or infections or cancer or surgery and illness, you know, and other medical conditions, you know accidents you know and uh, uh, the blood transfusions are most uh, commonly done for the blood components such as uh, red blood cells or the platelets or plasma you know and uh, before a blood transfusion a medical provider will draw your blood and uh, this exam uh, simple uh, you know the sample that will be drawn you know will be sent to a lab for type like uh, typing and cross-matching, you know, and to know the what the blood group and cross-match, you know. And uh, when the group is, uh, you know, typing is when the lab determines the blood type, you know, or the blood group, you know. And the cross-matching is a testing to determine if your blood is compatible with the donor's blood of the same type, you know. And a number of blood types, uh, uh, are like A positive, A negative, O positive, O negative, B positive, B negative, AB positive and AB negative, you know. So these are the types of uh, uh, blood, you know. And uh, uh, knowing your blood type is important because the red blood cells contain antigens or the uh, protein markers, you know, corresponding to these blood types. And if uh, a laboratory gives you the wrong type of blood your immune system will detect any foreign proteins on the red blood cells of the wrong blood type and attempt to destroy them you know now the blood banks have a, a thorough testing process to make sure blood is safe and uh, correctly typed for use you know and the doctor or the nurse will explain any risks of blood transfusion to you and they will closely monitor uh, while you are receiving the blood, you know. <coughs> and the most blood transfusion reactions uh, occur while you are uh, receiving the blood or uh, immediately after, you know. And a doctor or nurse will stay with you while you receive the transfusion and uh, you will they will check your vital signs and watch the symptoms that uh, you may have reaction, you know. And the transfusion reactions uh, symptoms may include like back pain, dark urine, chills, and dizziness, fainting, fever, flank pain, skin flushing, shortness of breath, itching, you know. And in some instances, uh, transfusion reactions take place days after the transfer, uh, transfusion, you know. And uh, so you should pay close attention to your body after the transfusion and uh, contact your doctor if you 
feel something is not right, you know. You know that mostly the people ask, uh, what are the causes of this blood transfusion reaction? Well, you know the antibodies in the recipient's blood can attack the donor blood if the two are not compatible, you know. And uh, if the recipient's immune system attacks the red blood cells of the donor, it's called hemolytic reaction, you know. And uh, you can have an allergic reaction to a blood transfusion as well. And uh, these symptoms may include like hives, itching. And uh, this reaction type is often uh, treated with antihistamines, you know. And uh, another transfusion reaction type is uh, like uh, the transfusion related acute lung injury, which is known as TRALI, you know. And this reaction may occur when donor's plasma contains antibodies that cause a damage to the immune cells in the lungs, you know. And this lung damage results in the fluid buildup in the lungs and can severely limit the ability of the lungs to supply oxygen to the body. And this reaction usually occurs within six hours of uh, receiving the blood, you know. And in rare cases or rare instances, the bacteria may be present in the donated blood. Giving this contaminated blood to the recipient can lead to infection, shock or death, you know. So before um, the transfusion, uh, the blood should be completely screened, you know. <clears throat> and a transfusion reaction can also occur if a person receives too much blood. And this uh, is known as transfusion associated circulatory overload. And having too much blood can overload your heart, uh, forcing it to work harder to pump blood through your body and uh, resulting in the fluid buildup in the lungs, you know, and other parts, you know. And uh, you can also experience the iron overload due to too much iron from the donor blood, you know, and this can damage your heart and liver uh, over many transfusions, you know. And the transfusion reactions uh, are not always serious, uh, but some can be life-threatening. And uh, the symptoms may, uh, like serious complications may include like uh, acute kidney failure, anemia, shock, which is life-threatening. Lung problems, which is pulmonary edema. So these are the common complications, you know. And uh, the next uh, important question is, is it possible that we can lower the risk of uh, transfusion reactions? Well, yes. The blood banks make every effort uh, to screen and test the blood, you know, before transfusion. And a sample of the recipient blood is uh, often mixed with the potential donor blood to ensure the compatibility. And before the blood is given to you, the blood label and uh, your identity will be thoroughly checked. And this ensures the donor uh, uh, that the donor's blood is rightly compatible with you, you know. And uh, so the blood banks and the blood transfusion officers or uh, the doctors who specialize in the blood transfusion and uh, they make every effort uh, to make it safe, you know. And But if uh, you have the blood transfusion reaction, then what are the treatment options is the next question, you know. Now, if you are uh, your medical provider, observe blood transfusion reaction symptoms like uh, disorder, being itching, or etc., hives, etc., you know. Uh, the transfusion should be stopped immediately, you know. And a laboratory representative should come and draw blood from uh, you and make the donated blood for testing to ensure they were meshed prop uh, appropriately, you know. And the transfusion reactions can uh, vary in the severity and some symptoms can be mild and treated with like uh, acetaminophen, you know. To reduce your pain and fever and your doctor may also prescribe the intravenous fluids or the medications to reduce the likelihood of kidney failure and shock you know and 
you know, they, the, some people ask uh, a very common question is that uh, uh, about the recovery, uh, like after the blood transfusion, you know, and uh, uh, is mild lower back pain after blood transfusion normal or etc. You know, so, well, you know, following the transfusion, you may not feel well and you may not to feel any symptoms, you know, but you may feel more energetic, you know, and sometimes you have some problems like, you know, and uh, if you develop many complaints such as fever or dizziness or back backache, you know, or shortness of breath, you should consult your doctor straight away. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website, which www.diseaseandtreatment.com. Thank you and goodbye. Tired now.